What's up, everybody? <clears throat> it's G to QB back at you with another video. Shout out to all my 14 subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Know I've been lacking on the content, but I got other things going on outside of YouTube, man. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to keep up with. But nevertheless, I'm here tonight. And I thank you all for subscribing to me. And it's you who make the channel grow. You know, to all my sports fans, Bear fans, I appreciate you. And as the latest, as we've heard <clears throat> today, Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace is fired. So, um, I heard all season that this was going to happen. And I'm glad it did. Uh, the Bears usually don't fire during in season. I get it. But now that Nagy and Pace is gone, we have a chance to bring in a new culture with a franchise quarterback and get this um and get this team back on track, man. Bring back bring back some football culture, some pride as one of the chartered programs in the NFL. So <clears throat> you know, I'm looking forward to it, man. And just a little review over the season, man. And um, uh, you know, when we drafted Justin Fields, I said, you know what, man? For this kid to get drafted in the first round and not have first team reps with the offense, that was kind of peculiar to me. Because any other team, if they draft a quarterback in the first round, he's getting the first team reps with the first O, oh, you know what I'm saying, with the ones. That wasn't the case with Justin. As we've come to learn, he'd be on the practice field with the scout team. Drafted in the first round now. With the scout team. And Andy Dalton starting. Which I thought was bullshit. It was always bullshit. And it, and it came to light during that Cle the Cleveland game. His first start. When Nagy set him up for disaster man. Right then I knew it. And I said it on a few few comment, comments. Uh, on some polls here on YouTube. <clears throat> that Nagy doesn't have Justin Fields best interest in mind. And it looked like I was right. Along with a lot of other Bears fans. You know. At first they, oh, don't be racist. Uh, you can't say that because he's a white man. You, look, man, look, I played the position. I played quarterback. And I can tell when the coach put his quarterback in a position to fail. And that's what Matt Nagy did to Justin Fields. He made no adjustments. He made no, no scheme diverse, nothing. He just had that young man drop back and get sacked nine times. The running backs wasn't even chipping on the ends on Clowney and damn Garrett. They wasn't even chipping on them, and they said it. They were surprised that they weren't getting chipped. That tells you right there he don't know nothing about in-game adjustments. And in my opinion, Nagy had four years, two top ten quarterbacks. Two, not one, not two. How many quarterbacks and G how many head coaches and GMs get a chance at two top ten quarterbacks? And for you to be the self-proclaimed quarterback whisperer and offensive guru and all this bullshit, you ain't done nothing, man. So I'm glad you're going. You and Pace. You and Pace going. Goodbye. So now that we have a new era upon us in Chicago, thank you, God. Uh, as far as head coaches and GM go, for general manager, I'm still up in the air. I'm still up in the air. Because as a general manager... You know, he has to be bought in on the idea of Justin Fields. And, you know, as Bears fans, we say, well, who wouldn't be? But you got to realize, if he has a, a new head coach and GM, they not they, they may not be, they may not like the way Justin play quarterback. You know, they're not getting their guy, they're inheriting a guy. So they, they may not be as apt to, you know, fully bring him to his potential. So in this, and, I, and I've heard through different reports that, Bill Polian is helping in the search for a GM. I guess a head coach as well. What I don't want to happen, I don't want Polian to go to his guys. You know what I'm saying? Guys he know. And, you know, play that buddy ball thing because if he get the guys he know and play this buddy ball thing when shit go bad, Polian ain't nowhere around. He ain't been in the league since 2011. Yeah, he has a very stellar resume when it comes to the NFL. But he hadn't been in the league since 2011. And how has football and things changed since 2011 up until this point? So we, we can we can use him as a consultant. I get that. The man resume is immaculate. But 
is he going to get his guys or he's going to be neutral in the search to find somebody to come in and, and, and embrace everything, even though they, they didn't get to pick or get to choose the quarterback they wanted. And then, and Justin uh, Fields be the top priority. You know, I don't want him to, you know, suggest people as a consultant because they're his guys. And he, and he's not even, we, he's not even on our squad. Polian, he's just a consultant. So when shit go awry, he can be like, hey, I just referred him to you. It was up to him. You know, I just, just my referral. No, 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 no. We want somebody to come in there and that's going to rebuild this thing and grind with us and support Justin, make Justin the focal point and getting the pieces around him, especially the offensive line, embracing David Montgomery, uh, releasing some of these big contracts, Mac, uh, Akeem Hicks, you know, hey, appreciate you guys, love you guys, you always be bears. But we got to free up some of this money to get some young talent in and get a new culture in Chicago. That's all I'm saying, man. We appreciate Polian's help. We appreciate all his wisdom when it comes to the NFL and the picking personnel. But we need to change the culture so bad. And honestly, my number one pick would be Jim Harbaugh, man. He was a first round pick with the Bears under Ditka. You know, he, he, he looks up to Ditka. He can restore some of that Bear tradition. You know, he, he he knows the organization and he's a Big Ten guy. He'll get to work with Justin Fields. And if you look at a uh, hardball record with San Francisco, look what he did with San Francisco. He took him to several NFC championships. Look where he got Kaepernick. You know, you can say what you want about Kaepernick, but as far as on the field play, that dude was a beast, man. And that was under Harbaugh. Under Harbaugh. So my first choice would be Jim Harbaugh. My second choice would be Brian Flores from the Miami Dolphins. Now, I think uh, Coach Flores got a bad deal. You know, I forgot how many games they won at the end of the, near the stretch end of this season, but he had the locker room behind him. He just couldn't get along with the higher ups, you know. But as far as the locker room playing hard for him and his, you know, his guys and he leading them, he was that guy, man. You know. He wasn't sold on Tua at first, but he gave Tua the opportunity, and big ups to Tua, he came through. You know what I mean? So Brian Flores would be my second pick. My third pick would probably be, I like a defensive guy. I, I, I like that. I like Todd Bowles. I really like Todd Bowles. He was the most, he, he blitzed the most out of any of the D coordinators in the league this season. He's that kind of guy. He, he has head coaching experience with the Jets. It didn't work out too well, but he has that experience. And I think he's a leader of men. I really do, man. So those would be my top three picks for head coaches. Now, as far as general managers, I still got to do research on that. If you guys have any idea of who a, a good general manager or candidate may be, leave it down in the comments. I'd appreciate it, man. But um, yeah, man, it's a new day in Chicago. And... This time, it's a new day with a franchise quarterback. It's just a matter of getting the pieces around him, getting the pieces around him, starting from the top, and just making it work from there. And we've we've never been in this position, man. We've never, as, as I've been a Bears fan since 1979, and we've never been in this position. So now that we're here, I want us to embrace it, get the right guys in, get the culture back, and let's bring this, this organization back up to prominence. Let's give this fan base something to be proud of, you know, because for the last 20 years, you could say the, the, the higher ups hadn't been concerned about what the fans think. And as I scroll through different YouTube channels concerning the Bears, man, you know, it, it's been a, a, a lot of letdown, especially the last few years, man. It's been a lot of letdown. So tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, like, share, subscribe. You know, I appreciate all 14 subscribers. And um, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about who may be the next uh, head coach and general manager for the Bears. Who would you like to see the Bears keep on the squad? Who would you like to see them cut? Uh, what kind of young talent we can uh, bring in in the Bears organization to bring this uh, to bring this organization back up to prominence and, and competing for a playoff spot, going deep in the playoffs, championships, and even Super Bowls, man. I'm G the QB. I appreciate you guys rocking with me, man. And, um, you know, like I said, like, like the video, share it, comment, and subscribe to the channel, man. 
You're the one who helped me make this channel grow, man. I appreciate all 14 subscribers. Until the next time, I'm G to QB. Peace.